Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, here's Ahmed Nasser. Welcome to a new tutorial about how to set up the WAM server. First thing, go to uh, your browser, uh, Google, uh, type the following, uh, WAM server, WAM, time WAM to Softpedia. Okay, uh, and you can see here, download WAM server. We need to download the WAM uh, package, WAM server package. So here you go. You can see it. Uh, click download. You can uh, check up the links here. Uh, if you have a 86 or a 32 bit, you need to download this version. If you have a 64 bit operating system, you need to download. 64-bit uh, according to your Windows operating system so uh, I'm gonna choose 64-bit okay you need to wait a little bit till the download begin so uh, or you can click here click here okay three seconds we need to wait a little bit here So here you go, uh, just click start and the downloading will start, uh, okay, as you can see here, you need to wait six minutes. Okay, after downloading, you can see the file, just double click. Yes, okay, here you go, just type next, next, accept, next, 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 and install. Okay, uh, click, okay, uh, yes, so uh, you have an option here, launch the, win okay, we need, click yes, close all the stuff, okay, after downloading, uh, you can notice the WAM server in the corner, the right corner here, so you need to go start all the services. So that is not going to work. Uh, to solve this problem, go to start, click here, uh, run, and uh, type CMD, or an alternative way, go here, type CMD, and uh, wait a minute, go, same process, CMD, and right click on the CMD, run as administrator, click yes, here we go. Uh, type the following IIS reset dash stop type enter so we need to st stop the Microsoft uh, Windows server in order to run the WAM server so we turn it off stop it and uh, we successfully stop the WAM the win Windows server so now we can go back on the track here uh, we can go here start all the services M let me just move the okay start all the services so as you can see here a uh, gr green icon and you can go to uh, localhost you can go to www directory and uh, here you got all the folders I added you, you got empty folder here okay you need to but any project you want to make you need to put it in this file this folder so or you can another way you can go here and uh, localhost okay just type localhost it's loading okay here localhost uh, in your browser I'm using Firefox so go down a little bit uh, here you can see all the project that you have for example I have my website if you go to the folder uh, here 12p on C WAM WW or you can go as I said in localhost so if you wanna run any website for example my website click here so this is a uh, website you know 
you can go to this website if you want to type local local host my website okay you can go here or you can type you know you go to the folder this is a e an easy process my website you should have index.php or index.html but since we run on a uh, and uh, you know, in uh, PHP, we need to put PHP as an extension. So if you type here index.php, will result in the same because all the time you go to the folder here, the the default index will be index.html. So this is basically. So assume that we want to make a new project. Go here, click new. Click for example new go to new text index.php yes open this for example with notepad and just basically you can type anything like uh, let me make a php php it goes something like low this is my page and uh, save this okay here we got this new project new we got this page here so in order to run this you can go to the WAM server localhost that will be run in the browser we can see the browser localhost here uh, move a little bit your projects you can see here new click on that and you're gonna see uh, hello this is my page so this is how basically uh, how to set up the WAMP server how to make your first PHP uh, application running on the WAMP server uh, thank you for listening uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Here's Ahmad Nasser from Stereo 07 at YouTube. Thank you. I appreciate you watching.